hi and welcome back with another tutorial video in this video we will be looking at the stroke menu and the lazy mouse so let me just dock this uh, to the side here and let's open this default project so in my previous video we did looked at uh, the curve and the curve functions when we were working on uh, our insert mesh brushes but in this video we will be looking at uh, this uh, lazy mouse this uh, six or two seven tabs uh, so the stroke menu uh, tells us how a stroke will be applied uh, onto the surface for example we have uh, we also have this stroke which is taken from this stroke menu here uh, this thing and this thing are the same you can just click and check uh, different strokes from here as well uh, but in this video we'll be looking at uh, lazy mouse so let me subdivide my sphere and add a couple of subdivisions so you can see that when i am working on for example let's just turn off the lazy mouse so when i'm working on character you can see that a uh, slight fluctuation in my brush will be reflected on the surface uh, but uh, when i'm working on character uh, if i want uh, my line to be super smooth and uh, uh, super crisp and i don't want multiple depths in my line uh, what i can do is just turn on this lazy mouse and you can see that we have uh, a lazy step option here so if i drag right now you can see a small red line behind my stroke uh, later on i will just uh, if i increase my lady radius lazy radius you can see that there is small red line behind my stroke and uh, it helps me uh, smoothing out my stroke uh, on uh, uh, with regarding the depth and regarding the direction uh, because if I even if I take sharp turns it will make it smooth so uh, lazy mouse is uh, very important when you're working on uh, creases or applying uh, some creases on the uh, your character or your armor uh, it is very helpful and there's one more thing which is uh, in the lazy mouse 2.2 it wasn't in previous brush and uh, you have to change the settings for lazy mouse for every brush for example just look at here and i'm changing my brushes and you can see that it turns off it changes values because all the brushes have different values for the lazy mouse so uh, if i go to my daemon standard brush we have lazy radius one and if i go to my standard brush we have a lazy radius of 56 which i just turned on so let's press 5 increase the lady radius to uh, something like uh, 80 and you can see that uh, if i drag a stroke on my uh, model let's increase the size let's sub subdivide it one more time and if i drag it and i have ended my stroke and i just rotated it out and if I click and drag again, you can see that it, it continues where it left off. Uh, this is uh, in the Lazy Mouse 2.2. It wasn't in the previous uh, Lazy Mouse uh, uh, version 1.1 or something. So it this was introduced in the ZBrush 4R8. Uh, before that, there was some uh, jaggedness when we were continuing the stroke, and we have to apply the stroke again and again. Okay. So we have uh, checked the lazy. Uh, we haven't checked the lazy steps. So let's reduce the radius. So right now our stroke is this. Uh, it's smooth. So if I increase my lazy step to uh, something like this, you can see that it has become dotted. And if I increase it some more, and you can see that there will be multiple steps between the strokes. So uh, this lazy steps uh, controls how smooth or how uh, multiple instances of a brush should be uh, dragged across the character uh, across the surface. So if I move it to the default value, which was 0 0.05, yeah, you can see that it has become smooth again. So let's go to our polystyric, append a polyplane. plane 3d yeah. so let's delete this polystyric and so we also have this uh, option which is uh, if I want to uh, 
I want to work on uh, like uh, I want to work in a line or in a path and I want my stroke to keep on the spot so what I can do is uh, check this line and if I drag a line you can see that it is not drawing right now but if I go back on it let's add multiple subdivision yeah so you can see that I have dragged in line and you can see that uh, it's uh, right now it's not following it can just go anywhere else as well but if we want uh, our stroke to follow the line what we can do is uh, click snap to track as well and you can see that if now I, I wherever I take my mouse it will just keep on following this line no matter what so this is very important when you are working uh, on uh, creating some paneling for the hard surface objects uh, it is super useful you can see that uh, my stroke won't go anywhere uh, it will only just uh, only be uh, dragged onto the line which uh, I dragged previously so if I go to my sphere and if I drag a line again and you can see that it's not working uh, it was working on the plane but it's not working on the sphere that's because the track curvature is uh, values is set to 35 so if I increase my value to 100 and drag a stroke again you can see that it's working again so it is very uh, so sometime when you don't know that uh, the track curvature is set to 35 uh, you will see that it's not working on uh, curved surfaces like this sphere and uh, on the plane it will work so uh, you should uh, check and make sure that track curvature is set to 100 on the curved surface uh, so we also have this spline option uh, which is uh, like some uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know the difference between spline and the line, uh, and I have never used it. And uh, yeah, so the path option is different, which is uh, like this. So if I drag a path, and I can just uh, move it across the path. So I have to drag it once, and it will always snap to it. So which is uh, really helpful when working on uh, lazy mouse so I've, now I will be showing you how to use lazy mouse to uh, create some ornamental designs on your asset on your 3d asset so I will be just uh, uh, speeding up my video and show you how you can use uh, lazy mouse uh, in conjunction with your other tools to create some nice ornamental designs
easily we have sculpted all the details with the uh, using lazy mouse and how easily we can apply strokes on the, our meshes so hope you like the video and see you in the next video